big hole of Onondaga. You know what this room reminds me of every time I come here? The edge is right there, the cliff. It says it's 550 feet down. And every time I go over to the edge, all that I could think about is the very first time that I threw a dead wolf off a cliff in Skyrim. So there is a whole bunch in this creek. I just found some right here. You can see there's already a flake taken out with the conchoidal fracture. Extremely high quality stuff here. Just right off the road in the creek. Freaking awesome. Before I head out, I did get a sample. I am going to make an arrowhead from it and test it. I got a good sample. So, wait until you see that. You guys voted a few days ago on the poll of uh, where should I revisit flint sources. You guys voted. I have the results right here, and we're here. It's smelly stuff land, guys. Smelly stuff. Onondaga. Onondaga chert, my favorite stuff. Most of the stuff I find in the creeks and stuff, though, is very damaged, but I still manage some nice hunting points out of it. So, even these little cobbles, I could make little, you know, about that big hunting points that work. Onondaga, smelly stuff, land. Happy to be here. Guess what, guys? We're at, like, just about 10,000 subs almost there I don't know if this is going to be the special episode or if I'm going to have another episode after this one that's the special 10,000 sub episode but we're in Onondaga land and that's what started my channel so maybe this will be the 10,000 subscriber super special Letchworth pretty cool events here like that second one right there. You see that, guys? Stone Tool Technology Show. I'm inside the tent here. You guys, uh, overwhelmingly, well, not really, but I'd like to think so, wanted the Onondaga shirt, which is what I'm looking for. It's right outside the tent, so the video's over. Have Sorry. a good one, guys. <laughs> Sorry, video's over. No, we gotta find bigger pieces than little. Bigger pieces. A little tiny. And uh, we have to make a spear point and test it as well. Yes. Cause that's fun. I like doing that. One a small campsite here. Oh, look at that. There's Flint at the campsite. There's a lot of it. There's Flint, there's my tent. Literally right outside my tent. We got in uh, at dark last night, so I didn't get a chance to really look around. Right. There's fire pit, there's table, there's chairs. It's a really small site. Campsite.
So if you're looking for flint and it's at the campsite, that's that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Good morning. I'm tired. Good morning. So this is gonna be really easy for my uh flint and steel section. It's right here, right next to the campfire. Cool. We'll see if it works. I'll start one uh probably later tonight. So, uh, I wanted to go deeper into the woods, but there's no, uh, there's no free camping up the, up the way I am. No, there is, but it's like in, in a cornfield or somebody's house or, I wanted some woods. So I have neighbors, but, uh, this is better than a cornfield, I think. We'll see. Can't help it. It's everywhere. This is one of the ways you could tell you see that reflection in it. See how smooth that is? Glassy and glossy. It's one of the best ways to tell what you're looking for. Even more so if you crack it open. I'll show you in a second. See that? It's, it's very, very smooth as well. Awesome. When I opened up the tent, tent door and stuck my head out and I saw a flint on the ground, there was this dog and the dog went, ooh. The second, the second I saw the flint and I was like, the dog is like cheering that I found Flint. Okay. Flint and steel kit. I'm gonna test some of these rocks real quick. little piece of gravel flint. We're gonna test it. So just from the ground here. You don't need a very big piece for that. Bigger piece will last longer, but you don't need a big piece to make sparks. One more. Works good. It's the smelly stuff. Raccoon shirt. Leo's aunt got it for me. Raccoons are cool. Guys, there is a laundry here and fresh produce grocery at the campground. What the heck? Where am I? Alien land. This is awesome. What? Ice? Grocery? What else is in here? Look over there. Look at this playground for kids. Oh, and a playground in the background? Um, Slides. They, they have like everything here. All right. Court over there. Do a voiceover to say we're at Letchworth State Park. I've never seen. Well, here's the general store. You can't really say. There you go. Grocery store. Fresh produce, locally grown. Look at this. Oh my God! They got. Oh, berries, and cherries, and fresh local green bell peppers. You want to make some uh, campfire peppers tonight? Stuffed peppers. Got eggs. 
Cookies. They got freaking cake. Cookies. And Sticky buns. It's not focused. There we go. Sticky buns. Twelve dollars. The campers cookies. I am overwhelmed. <laughs> Fresh fruit. Some beans. Yeah. I think they have probably little bags that you could. What is it even? A leek? Is that a leek? Local onions. What the heck? Like, this is an onion? Oh my god. Could kill someone with that. They have laundry. It's open 24 hours. There might be a bear in there. Look at that. They literally have everything. Gorilla glue tape. Tools. Tent stuff. Drinks. Food. Alright, so we got some stuff. They gave us a free booklet with maps with stuff to do around. I got a hat and shirt combo. That's awesome. So I'm going to put those on right away. Leah got herself a fridge magnet. Letchworth State Park. Huge waterfall. The first time we came here. Yeah. It looked like that. Yep. The very first time we were here years ago. My favorite park. Let's go overkill. <laughs> it's like a super fan. My favorite park. <laughs> I'm standing my, the park. Put my aunt's raccoon shirt back in the bag. Because I'm wearing this the whole time. <laughs> it's a little bit of overkill. Gotta get an eye patch too, Letchworth. <laughs> Magazine says exciting things to do. Exciting adventures with animals big and small. You know, it doesn't include me in the animal section and there's nothing about Flint. If I have anything to say about it, pretty soon these magazines at parks that say local things to do and see, it'll say where to see the Flint. Go see the wild flint. Go see the wilderness splint. That is my goal. So, the flint that's in creeks and stuff, not in the park, but outside the park, um, is coming from like Canada. So that gives me an idea. For my subscribers that watch both me and the Wooded Beardsman. Hmm. Oh, So they got some pretty cool events here, like that second one right there. You see that, guys? Stone Tool Technology Show, High Banks Recreation Area, August 25th through the 27th, 10 to 6, followed by some yoga. So I didn't realize I thought it was such a um, long drive. Yesterday it was like seven and a half hours. And uh, I kind of wasted a day driving. And uh, we only have like T 
two nights, two days off in a row now. So uh, most of our trips are two day trips. So we got tonight, we had last night, we came in the campsite, we went to sleep. Then tonight we're camping and gonna sleep. And then we gotta check out tomorrow. But we don't have to be back until um, like four in the morning. So I guess we have um, two days, two full, so we're gonna try two full days to make to look around. Spear point out of this piece of flint that we found. Hmm. So I got a hint in an academic text about where some flint might be in a creek. And it's nowhere near here. So driving there and I'll get back to you. So there is a whole bunch in this creek found some right here. You can see there's already a flake taken out with a conchoidal fracture, a circular fra fracture like glass. It's nice and smooth and covered in mud. Let me um, just show the conchoidal fracture. Breaks like glass. Shiny, shimmery, glossy, glassy. It's only in the limestone in this section here. The rest is limestone. No good on that piece. I thought it was a big piece. Extremely high quality stuff here. Just right off the road in the creek. Freaking awesome. Look at it.
It's everywhere. It's the fossil. Ooh. Looks like a fossil. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've seen a few. So Look at that. Already. In this area, as most areas with uh, Onondaga, it forms in limestone. So when you see it, it's going to be in blocks like that. And when you find the pure flint, it's usually like eroded out of limestone. So it's in like cubes or blocks. And they're not very big. Sometimes you'll find a big one. But they're not very big, but you're able to make awesome spear points and arrowheads out of it. When you find the big one, then you're able to make like nice, nice big long knife blades like I did in that one video. But uh, for here, it's mostly eroding out. So it's eroding out somewhere upstream, coming down and being deposited on the, let's call it the shoreline here. And you're finding what washed out of the walls because <laughs> the limestone dissolves in certain conditions and then the rock pours out. But I want to show you more uh, before I head out. I did get a sample. I am going to make an arrowhead from it and test it. I got a good sample. So, wait until you see that. So I'm wearing Letchworth gear. That's my favorite park. It's about an hour and a half away from here, maybe a little more. And uh, that's where I'm camping. I'm not doing any collecting there at all. Um, anyway, it's not, it's not really there. It's kind of in the parking gravel. But uh, that's why I mentioned earlier, contact the gravel company. Because whoever delivered gravel there has a supply of it. But here, quite a ways away from the park, just on a river, I'm finding it. It's here. So one of the things that... Uh, we've done in the past is look up geologic maps for sedimentary rock, limestone. It's a big boulder right here. Gosh. Let's take a little piece off just to show. Big, big boulder of modeled. See the holes where the limestone eroded? Look over here, Tiff. Yep, there's a good piece. The one behind it? Ugh. Scattered. It's mucky. There's more. Now one of the things I've come across and the problems that I have with uh, Onondaga in particular is it's really hard to find a pure big piece that doesn't have these holes in it and limestone inclusions and all kinds of junk. You usually see it like this. In addition to public access points where it's legal to collect rock, you can also ask landowners, of course. Muck. Muck. So, you see seeing little tiny high quality flakes, medium quality big chunks. When I say big chunks, I mean the size of my hand. And I'm not finding anything like this big, which would be great. I would love to find something like that. But for Onondaga, that just is too rare. Shiny as heck. Can I get it? It's really packed in there. Here, hold this.
rock extraction method. Pure nugget. Has red in it. Hmm. Look at that. Neato. Maybe I'll try to make the spear point from this piece. Creek find. Cool. Let's go. That's a pretty pure piece. Nice. Freaking awesome. Look at that. Letchworth ice cream is calling me. My stomach is like cookie dough, cookie dough, ice cream, summer, cookie <laughs> dough ice cream in the summer at Letchworth. Yes. That's what it's saying. All right, let's get out of here. Let's do it. Yeah. It's all over the place. Look right here. Look at this piece straight down. Mm. All of this is up. You ready? You ready, guys? Oh, snip it. It's the oil. It's the smelly rocks. Look at that. Do you see the modeling in it? Look at that. That's the stuff, guys. 100%. Right here. Good enough for a knife blade. So we'll see if we can make a knife out of that. All right, let's get going before the ice cream shop closes. All right. Example, massive boulder underground of Onondaga, right there. Seeing that tree root? A little, tiny, super tiny. Get a ground side here. There's a piece of Onondaga right there. They are cute. Big enough? Big enough boulder? <laughs> Big boulder. All through here. All of it. Oh my goodness. Leah, can you carry this on your back? <laughs> Take this mountain. Yeah. Just Look at it all. Nice.
right there for spear points and arrowheads and I'm gonna get a fire started so Leah could cook right off the ground there's a few pieces I'll use this one <clears throat> the striker little piece of wood so I think what I'm going to do is um, hold it like this. I don't usually hold it like this, but I'm going to hold it like this this time. We'll see how this works. Because most, most of the sparks fly up. All right, so we'll fold it. We're going to fold it like that.
think I got it. It's going. Find him. There's some petrol. Yeah. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. two times have been hard. Something wrong with my uh, chalk cloth. Yeah, it got wet and then I tried to dry it. You could do the rest of the, the bigger wood and then. Yeah, I'll just make a frame for a silver pot on it. Alright, I'm gonna do some of the napping vid. We got. It. Like, I'm just gonna. We got some nice camp wood. Make a frame for. Yep. Yeah. Alright, have fun with that. You good? Yeah, it should be. <sighs> Looks good to me. Across, straight across. Do it again. Almost. Oh, yep, it did go all the way. There. I'm gonna hit here and see how this looks. like there's some damaged stuff in there so again careful there 
is some damage to stuff in there. You see it? Oh, we're shot to thin the tip. See what I did? You don't want to be real careful doing those because it can give big hinges and it could also snap the whole point in half. So just be careful if you're going for that. It's looking good. Just got to thin right here. And make a Dalton y. Dalton like kind of point if I could keep it long. That didn't go at all. It's not going. Why? Let's try a different spot. That one. Straight across again. hard that one did not go all the way so we got a little bump right there like right there Good and sharp to me there. Okay. Leave a tiny bit in to keep it cool looking. Like that. What do you guys think? Creek Rock. Onondaga. We will heft that and test it out. Whew, just in time, the sun has gone down. Look at that. See those overshot flakes? If you hit it the right angle with the right force, almost every single one can be an overshot. And it really thins it down really fast. All right, guys. Just finished making this point on camera it has crystals in the base and then Leah prepared some pepper campfire meal look at that charcuterie some water some lanterns the flint and steel stuff that I just started the fire with there's the wood and there's a uh, quinoa cooking look at that And I just, uh, I just filmed right there. So we got the cheese, we got the pepper, we got the salsa, we got the drinks, we got the charcuterie, we got the wadobo and the salt. Wadobo, look that up if you don't know what that is. We got the spring water, we got the other cooking stuff, the lantern, the flint and steel stuff. And she's got the spear point. It does smell like oil. It. It's weird. Too close. What do you think? It is very sharp. It's and extremely it's kind of like sharp, sparkly. Right? I don't know if they'll be able to see that. It's got, it's got shimmeries sparkles. in it. It's really sharp. Oh my god. Made a little Dalton. And food is quinoa is cooking. It's a little bit of firewood. And this is where I just filmed all that. And I still got a whole bag full of rock. Look at that. All right, so I got the pine pitch. I got the sinew right here. I'm gonna soak it in some water. Put the point 
into the dart. Fit it nice, melt the pitch in there, and then wrap it a little bit with the sinew. So I'm just gonna do that, and then we'll let it dry overnight, and we'll test it in the morning. The sinew's in there. Got this with pine pitch, see those glimmers in it? Look at that. You might wanna just straighten out a tiny bit. sitting flush in there it's not too deep so it might detach but that is okay we're just testing durability sharpness and how it works i'm gonna add that so it does not look amazing but the pepper from the farm stand here is like the best pepper i ever had this is delicious a little bit too much cheese. Oops. Ew, what are you doing? We also got a, um, oh I'm showing how stringy it is. I could tie this beer plate with this thing. <laughs> okay. We also got a tomato from the farm stand. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think she brought the quinoa. I don't know where that came from. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat this. Look at that. I don't know what I thought it was. Chunky salsa. Oh, that brand is. It's so good. All right. Casa I got to charge up the phone. I just wanted to show tomato, green pepper, cheese, and a little bit of quinoa. It's amazing. Amazing camp food. Salsa. Oh, and salsa mixed up. Okay. Catch you guys later. Exception one, but I'm not going to talk about one. that. There was one exception. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll check out the nature center. Mm -hmm. They have a museum. Yeah, there's a nature center. There's a museum. In one of uh, my videos from last year, I did a tour of the museum and I uploaded it uh, with uh, Ken Wallace doing um, a video. There's a video in the museum. Ken Wallace, who goes by Paleo Man 52. Paleo Man 52 on YouTube, and uh, he actually narrates the video for the museum, mm -hmm. and it's 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 pretty freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I'll clip in that video from last year up in the corner here. But uh, this video is a little dark, so I'm gonna. Yeah, if you are out in this area, this is the state park to go to. Like so I let this set up there and it dried pretty nice dried fast uh jerky gave me the idea all right giveaway contest all you gotta do number one through through ten thousand and tell me your favorite rock and why and that's it winner will be chosen at random with a random number generator and then depending on creativity you might get extra points and that's it you know what this room reminds me of every time i come here the edge is right there the cliff it says it's 550 feet down and every time i go over to the edge all that i could think about is the very first time that I threw a dead wolf off a clip in Skyrim. Right here, check it out. 
and it made me laugh so hard for like days. Just the wolf spiraling and spinning and hitting the rocks and falling all the way down. Hilarious. Made little splat sounds every time it hit. Okay, enough of that. I just had more ice cream. Let's huh. do buffalo. Round two. Um, from the stand over there, but I wanted to show these uh, about, I think about 100 years old shelters with still working fireplaces. And I guess you're allowed to just set a fire in there? I, I don't know. Where's the blue jay? Hi, Sam. There he is. It's a chipmunk. Here he is. He's missing his tail. No, he's got a nub. <laughs> Something thought his worm the tail was a worm. Oh, that's what happened, I guess. He's running for his life. There he is. a battle of mother nature here. Blue jay chasing another blue jay and a chipmunk chasing a chipmunk with its tail ripped off. Where'd it go? Blue jay. They're everywhere. Feet. The Wolf Creek drops 225 feet. Timberwolf dug its dens in the valley's gravel banks. There he is. Little nice sword. You can eat that, right? Yep. Yeah. It's too high. Wow, what a good trip. 10,000 subs. Videos getting more views finally. Getting some good rock. Getting cut really bad. Look at that. Ah. Doesn't look bad, but it's deep. Puncture wound. It says uh, new skin. First aid antiseptic liquid bandage spray. Maybe I'll put that in my description for the, my napper friends. I'm uh. Just parked on the edge of the cliff here. Leah's going to luck. I'm trying to wake up. I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna stop at a few spots on the way home to uh, try and collect more rock. If I see anything good, I'll, uh, I'll film it. Let me know if you guys watched the whole thing. If you did, write full stop in the comments. And this will probably be the end of the episode here. Uh, just go back to the middle 
uh, if you missed the contest rules, the giveaway contest. I'm going to give away uh, a box of the rock that I collect and nap. The stuff that I nap. I give away a uh, medium flat rate box of that stuff. And one of my blades inside. Uh, you just got to go back and find those rules. And do that. And it will be chosen with random number generator and extra special prize for anyone who wins with a really good comment. So, comment, comment.